We're going to take the arms down by the side, get the elbows into the ribs, and push the breath upwards, and we inhale back down. As we lift, we breathe out going up, inhale going down. Keep the elbows tucked in close to the ribs. That's good. Well done. So we push that breath upwards, and we inhale as we lower back down. So exhale up, inhale as we lower. That's good, push the breath upwards, and we draw the breath in. Keeping the elbows into the ribs, lowering the arms down, nice and straight. That's good, for the last two, push the breath up, squeeze the front of the arms, inhale back down. In the last one, we push the breath up, and we breathe in as we lower. So we're going to work on the arms, the front and the back of the arms. Second one is for the back of the arms, as we press both together, and we draw the two arms up nice and straight. We straighten the arms, we bend the elbows, we breathe out as we lower, and we breathe in as we come back up. Now if you find two of these a bit heavy, leave one down, and just use the one weight, or if you use any other kind of weighted equipment, Leave the, your bottle down and just use the one. Or if you find even one of them difficult, press both palms together and work your arms in the exact same way. As we exhale, as we lower, inhale coming up along. So we exhale down, we pull the breath in and we straighten the arms once more. Again, we exhale as we lower, we pull the breath in and we straighten the arms. And we work in three more. Exhale downwards. Inhale up. Excellent. And we get one more down. And we draw the breath in coming up along. Going to use one weight for the next one. As we get into some core strength, we take the arms up straight as we lengthen the arms. And then we push the breath and draw in. So key in this, is keep from hips to shoulders nice and straight and gaze forward. So keep the spine nice and long and nice and straight as we lengthen and draw. Really engage in all that core area, keep that area nice and tight. That's good, well done. And we work along, that's good everyone. Well done, that's good. So we go five, four, good work, three, two, and a one. Good stuff. So we've got three done. We're getting into the fourth. Fourth is some leg strength. We pick the other one back up. We can press the two together, but we keep them close to our chest. We take the two feet wide, roughly about shoulder width, and we take the hips and we drop downwards, and we return back up. So we keep the spine, Nice and long and straight, we draw belly to spine. We lead from the hips as we drop the hips towards the heels and we return up nice and safely. So really draw that belly to spine, keep the spine nice and long, nice and straight, and we focus forward. So keep focusing to a point in front as we drop the hips, keeping the spine nice and long and straight. If you find the two a bit heavy, just use one, or place both hands to hips if you find that even a little bit too much. And remember, we don't have to go deep to get full benefit from that. Even to press to here, we're still providing good strength. That's good. That's good work. Well done. Excellent. That's good. And we have four. And we drop and lower for three. Excellent. Drop and lower for two. That's good. And the last one is we drop and we come up a lot. Good start. So we got four in. We're going to continue on. We'll go back up to the upper body once more. We bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. We open the arms back. Good stretch between the shoulders. We exhale and we pull the breath in. So we keep a nice bend in the elbows as we lower. We inhale back out to the side. Push the breath and inhale. 
Excellent. Well done. So exhale, going up. Inhale, go back. That's good work. Keep a nice soft bend. We inhale was a line. That's very good. So exhale as we lift. Inhale as we take those wide. Nice stretch between the shoulders when we start with those. So there's a nice stretch between the shoulders here. And then we push the breath up. And we inhale wide. And we work along for three. And inhale. Then we lift and we raise for two. And inhale. And the last one. As we push the breath up, we breathe in as we lower. Bring the arms down by our side. Take a lift from the shoulders and drop back down. So we lift and drop. That's good. Well done. Four, three, and two, and one. The next one we work on, we use one again once more. Can you the other by your side? So we're going to take the, the weight in front, and we're going to bring down towards the side. We're going to bring towards the side again. We keep the hips up, draw the hips up, keep the spine long, and we focus forward. So we turn on the side, drawn towards the side. That's good. We turn that weight away from our side. And we keep focusing forward again. Keep a nice long straight spine. That's good. Well done. Excellent. That's good. Just get in whenever we can. That's good. Brilliant. Well done. That's good work. Six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Excellent. We're going to go on to the second one. We pick that up. We get into more leg strength. As we get the two feet straight, we keep the two weights by our side, and we breathe in as we lift the heels. We're going to press down underneath the toes, and we land back down. So we draw the breath, we lift the heels, we lengthen the spine, and we exhale as we land. So again, we focus forward, we pull the hips, we lengthen the spine, and then we drop back down. So we lift the heels, press down underneath the toes, bring the body high, and then we drop again there. That's great. So inhale, and exhale. So we have four of those to go. Four, and exhale. That's good. We press down underneath the toes, lift tall and straight. Well done. We work two more. So two. Excellent. And we'll manage one more as we lift and as we drop. Good work so far. We're going to bring the two of these in together. We get a slight bend in the elbows. Again, we keep tall and straight. And we inhale as we open. We exhale as we draw back in. So we pull the breath in, we take the lift from the shoulders, we open the arms, and we exhale coming down. So we draw the breath in, and then ex exhale as we come back in again then. So we keep the palms facing downwards, and we're bringing the arms in line with the shoulders. And we're taking all that lift from the top of those shoulders as we inhale outwards, that's good. Keep nice and tall and straight. Well done. So we inhale and exhale. And we're working three more. For three and exhale. And we work for two. That's good. And we have one more there in us. As we pull the breath in. As we exhale down. We're going to work on one again. The other one down. Get the two feet wide. So bring the weight on the side. We open the arm upwards. Lengthen the arm palm facing. We raise the arm as we breathe out. Bring the arm by our ear. Lengthen to the side. We inhale back out. So as we lift, we exhale up. Inhale, draw the arm away. Keep both legs straight. Keep the spine straight. Take the arm by the ear. Inhale back out. So we push the breath. The, we inhale as we lift, help lift us back up for one more. Push the breath away and we inhale. We swap on the other side, keep the legs straight. Open the arm wide, 
Palm facing, we exhale to the side. And then we inhale. We keep that arm by the ear. We exhale as we lengthen out. And then we inhale once more. And we push the breath as we stretch outwards. And we inhale. And we get three more. For three. And inhale. We work along for two more. For two. And we draw the breath in. And we manage one more. We exhale outwards. And we inhale as we come back. Good work. On to leg strength again. We're going to work into what's called the lunge. If you find this difficult on the knees and the hips, just skip it and work into the squat. So if you find the next one difficult, just work on the squat. It was one of the first moves we did. If we are in the lunge, we're going to get both of these together. And we're going to take the right leg forward. We'll keep the knee in line with your ankle. Our back leg, we can get a slight bend or we can increase the bend depending on our leg strength. Hips to shoulders, nice and straight and engage here. And then we swap on the other side. That's good. And we draw back up. So we work along in about eight of these. And if you find that maybe two of these are heavy, use one or place hands to hip. That's good. Well done. We engage across here. Again, we're focusing forward. Hips to shoulders nice and straight. Keep from hips to shoulders nice and straight on these. That's good. Well done. Brilliant. That's good work. We're doing great. That's good. We'll just get three more. Three. That's it. Two. And, and one. And for a lot of the stuff we're doing, if you're anyway unsure of what we're doing, you can put a mirror, stand in front of a mirror. And you can see exactly whether you're doing them right or wrong, especially in that lunge, because it can be hard to see where your back leg is. So there's a mirror there, we can look, and then you can see where that, that leg is. So we're keeping our, our knee and hip in the line here, knee and ankle in the line in the front. Okay? So that's it. Hopefully you enjoy those. And if you want, take a minute or two break, and you can repeat that round for a second time. And you can repeat for a third time. Okay, bye-bye.